Yo, what's up guys and welcome to this episode of The Lock. First and foremost, if you guys didn't know, we are available on iTunes, Spotify, Anchor.fm, SoundCloud, Google Podcasts. All those links are down below and it really does help us out if you listen to it there versus on YouTube. Of course, if you are already listening to it on one of those links, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Secondly, there is a link to our Discord in the description of the YouTube video, which allows you to join our community if you'd like to join that. So this week's guest is Shofu, a good friend of mine and a well-known content creator in the Pokemon and Smash community who has amassed over 600,000 subscribers. Let's get right into the episode. Now recording. What the <laughs> fuck the hell? No. <laughs> <laughs> the feds are watching, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, since the feds are watching, I'm going to hit him with the first question. Show who. How uh, many third graders you think you could take down in a row if they were just lined up one, one gonna, by one? Wait, what? One on one. It Hold has on. to do with the topic. You know it has to do with the topic. Can I can I get some more context on that because of recent okay. event? Close quarters combat. These these are bloodlusted third graders. They are coming for you. They're on the offense. Okay, you're not you're not just attacking them willy nilly. They're coming for you, and you're defending yourself in one on one scenario. How many do you can you take consecutively with let's say twenty seconds of recovery time in between each? At least twenty. At I'm least not talking 20. about etiquette, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> At least 20. only to only 20 only oh you said at least, least. i don't at know most, at I've, most. I've never i've never been in this situation before i gotta think about it a little more you know what i'm saying okay okay like like what do you know how how i'd say think? 30 i'd say 30 max i'm not in the best of shape right now you, you think it'd be a, a stamina issue yes that's that's where I, that's that's the conclusion i reached my solution was uh to tactically approach it by uh tackling them to the ground and because they're so small takes no energy <laughs> Put them to the ground. They're they're useless. You can stomp them out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I, I'm not worried about being physically harmed in any way. I just would probably get too tired to keep keep going after a certain point. Really? But I like I like your approach too, man. Just you like their approach. What is wrong with you, monsters? So that well, brings us. You asked me the question. Hey, hey, I was yeah, but that doesn't mean I think about it at all. I didn't say anything. I was just. I didn't just, say how I would take them down. I just said I just. How said, would you take them yeah. down? What would you do? I got. I got to know. I couldn't. I couldn't hit a little kid, man. I'd have to just establish dominance. You know what I'm saying? What like, if they're What if they're only little kid by just the way they look? Right? They're drones. Flex on them. Right? They're zombies. They're drones. But they're they're third grade zombies slash drones. Could you not hit them then? I mean, if we're not were talking not people, then yes, of course. I mean, we're not talking. You go to a school and you just beat a not, third grade. I'm talking on a not. Uh, we're eliminating morals from this. Uh, this not, from from a non moral standpoint. Just oh, good. Pure, oh, we, purely we, physical. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> purely, purely leisure. Like, do, I have a weapon? do I have a weapon, or is it just me? No, no. Uh, it, the only weapon Key said you could have is the floor. Basically, at that point, it's a floor. There's no walls. You're just on this plane where it's just you, floor. There's a there's a door that come that's opened up, and one by one, you know, they pour in. Uh, you have 20 seconds in between each one. All right. I might, you know, I might throw a couple drop kicks in there. That's what I'm <laughs> A couple ankle sweeps. I mean, Shofu is like seven six, so like I feel like you could just step on them as they're coming. I'm out. saying, dude, I, like whenever he first he first mentioned asking you this question, I was like, Shofu could take an endless amount of seven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they could keep coming at infinitum, and the only the only way he would ever stop is like just just getting hungry or having to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> Oh he could God. take him out. So that brings us into today's topic: adversities and uh, and, and ways to overcome them. <laughs> that, bro, that's, that's the worst segue ever, bro. How? Oh, wait, was that not a problem? A, an issue at hand that we had to overcome? I had to do that. Yeah, you were dying. So I had to beat up these third graders, bro. Yeah. That army of third graders would have had their way if 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 you were unable to, to yeah. triumph. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, exactly. So. No, obviously, uh, we ran by the topics with you, um, and we know you're no stranger to adversities. Um, and if you don't mind, would you uh, care to talk about, you know, coming up from Pokemon and what you went through? That'd be awesome. Now, what kind of adversities are we talking about here? Like life? or Yeah, or you like life. Life. <laughs> I mean, the way I even started on YouTube, uh, I was in high school still. I don't know. I think, I think I've told this story a bunch of times, but I used to go to the Apple store after basketball practice because I, I didn't have Wi-Fi at home. Yeah. I had internet, but I didn't have a router. Uh, 
All right, let's start all the way from the beginning, okay? I'm in high school. I get my, uh, uh, I think somebody gave me their DS. Uh, I wasn't able to get Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I think that came out around, what, 2006, 2007? Yeah, Something seven, like I that. think. Everybody, it was like a fad. You know how fads come and go. Like, they had crazy bones and, you know, stuff like that. The DS Pokemon was was a fad for a while. I couldn't afford it. I didn't have any money. Uh, but, like, a year or two after that, my friend just gave me his DS. He didn't care about it anymore. The fad was over. So I'm over here playing Pokemon. My other friend gives me this pink DS. It's a DS Lite. Okay. Ooh. My boy gave me a DS. My other boy gave me a pink DS Lite. I was like, bet. So I walking around playing Pokemon with my pink DS Lite. All right. <laughs> Go to the library one day, and this guy's like, yo, have you ever battled online? I was like, you can do that? So that's how I got introduced to like actual battling. Now, competitive battling was a whole different story. I think I stumbled upon Smogon at some point. But long story short, I started going to the Apple Store to play online, and I was like, man, fuck this Apple Store. <laughs> I'd stay there till like 10, 10 o'clock whenever it closed. I was like, fuck this. I'm about to go get a router from Best Buy. Still had no money, by the way, so I stole that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not proud of this at all. I just had, I literally had no money. So like I said, I'm not proud of this. Walked into the Best Buy, put a router in my backpack, somehow made it out of there without getting caught, set it up at home. And then that's where I started Wi-Fi battling. Um, but as far as like adversities, I I, I didn't have like the best, uh, I'd say childhood because hmm. uh, you know I was homeless. My mom didn't make a lot of money. Uh, I, I was homeless a few times, um, but I was never like, like she did a good job of uh, keeping us happy regardless. Yeah. So uh, when Pokemon came along, that was like another escape from like the reality. I think that's probably like basketball, school, and like Pokemon, honestly, were like big reasons why I never really felt like sadness because of my situation. Like I was always absorbed in something, books, something like that. Uh, that's, that's cool. That's really good. I mean, but <laughs> yeah, as far as like real life, um, this YouTube stuff actually probably saved me just because I, I, I literally could not work because of my situation. I was a, um, a dreamer, I think they called him. Uh, so I came to the U.S. Uh, on a visa and overstayed, you know, my welcome. As far as the visa says, I'm, I was allowed to stay here for. Uh, but I was a kid. Like, I, I, I had no choice in that. In that yeah, matter. My parents brought me here. Yeah. Uh, so because I couldn't actually get a, a job, I had no work permit or, or a social security card. Um, when I started, like, getting viewers on YouTube and actually being able to make money from it. It actually allowed me to, you know, send my mom some money if she needed some, pay for my rent if wherever I was staying. Because uh, before I was in college and I was, you know, how college kids are always broke anyways. I was like super broke because I had nothing at all. So uh, how soon was it that you were actually like making uh, money off of YouTube? I feel like that was 2010, right? No, I was 11. 11? Uh, I started uploading videos in like 2009. I actually started before that when I was in high school still, like living at my mom's house. But uh, it was I never really like took it seriously. I just tried. I didn't really have the best equipment to do that. So I never really took it seriously then. Uh, so up until that point, you're just yeah, playing exactly. the game, uh, just like just like trying to distract yourself from from like real life uploading and just doing it because you like it. And then. Yeah, exactly. I was a method just, of income. Exactly. So for I think between 2009 and 2011, I was just doing it because it was so fun to me. I, I liked learning about the game. I was a fiend, bro. I used to watch random people's Wi-Fi battles, just trying to learn and see how they thought. I get, you know, I didn't really need commentary or anything. I could just understand by looking like what their mindset was. Uh, it was just a really good time. <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. Um, you know, I met Joey. 2010. Think, yeah, something like that. Yeah, we and then we battled a lot. Um, Back then, people making money on YouTube was very scarce. It wasn't like a popular thing. A lot of people didn't have that opportunity, as far as video games went, and at least. Uh, but 2011, I got um, an email from the Game Station. They don't even exist anymore. <laughs> but uh, that's like when I started actually making money, and I was pretty excited. I was like I said, I was able to support myself at least not not really at first. I wasn't making a ton of money or anything, but I wasn't broke anymore, and that was very important. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, food, obviously, like, right. I could eat. Lot thing, yeah, and helping your parents. And that, that's awesome that you uh, were able to also not only, you know, provide for yourself, but giving back. Uh, I know you make reference to this a lot in your, your raps and stuff, how you came up from, you know, I, I don't want to say nothing, because it's not nothing, obviously, but you came up from the situation, and you're making a name for yourself. And I think that's so good that uh, you were able to overcome, you know, what you went through. And obviously, at the time, like, I've heard the story from you, but later, right? I didn't know at the time, uh, and I didn't know if it was either you not wanting to share or you just not finding the need to share it. Um, but I think it's just so, it, it's so cool that like 
you were able to just persevere, do what you love. And from there, you know, make a name for yourself and not only make a name for yourself, but also uh, give back type of thing. So that's, I think that's such a cool, cool story. Um, and uh, like, I feel like facing adversity really does uh, prepare you for future adversity. So like at the time, obviously, you know, you're homeless, right? Like you don't see, wow, man, you might be thinking about wow, this sucks, right? Oh, what yeah, can I do? Know. Obviously, like, like at that point, what, what more can you think, right? Damn, I don't have a home. Like I don't have this. Uh, I don't have this. But I feel like you're not, you know, your future prepared. You know what I mean? Like at that point, it's a low and, you know, you, you have to move forward and, and you were able to overcome it. So I, I, it's really inspiring in terms of like how you found work and, and, and even, it wasn't even work. It was just, it was leisure, right? Yeah, was, I, I'd never, I've never, if, if I thought this stuff was work, I'd probably be way more consistent. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> from from day one, I never have seen it that way just because I, I love doing it. Um, but when I don't feel like doing it, I don't do it because, like I said, I don't see it as a job. I, I see it as something that I just love doing. Now, now I'm not saying that something you love doing can't turn into a job because that's exactly what happened. But uh, I just, I, I've been doing it however I've wanted to do it since since I've started. And, uh, you know, when I, when it's time to work hard, I do when it's time to chill I can chill, but, um, either way, uh, it's, it was definitely a blessing to be able to actually make some money doing something that I would have been doing anyways. For sure. For sure. I mean, I mean, it helped you out. And I'm, I'm assuming like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to say if this isn't true, but I'm assuming now everything's like good, right. In terms of even being able to work and doing that, you don't have to answer this. If oh yeah, no, for sure. I got my uh, well, I guess it's called a green card, but it's a permanent residence card. Um, a couple of years ago, so now I can literally do anything. I, I I can't get a U.S. passport quite yet. I got to send off to like the U.K. to get that. Uh, but I can do pretty much anything. I can work now. I can get a driver's license, all that stuff. It's nice. a long process though. <laughs> being black and an immigrant is not a good combination in this country believe me yeah i mean obviously you know i don't face that <laughs> like i'm gonna say like I, I don't it's like type of thing so i'm not even gonna like, try and you know go into that sort of thing I, I know you go through struggles just what it is we see it all around in the news and everywhere. yeah but um what do you feel uh, oh you can go key i was just bringing it back to like uh having faced all the uh struggles and adversity would you say that uh, it? Would you say after the fact that it it helped you in the long run in terms of uh you know like would you have had the motivation to to move forward had you not faced adversity or you would you think that you'd just be uh you know just another another guy working a regular job? I'm honestly not quite sure. Like I said, I I didn't really pay attention to it most of the time. Like my mom did a pretty good job of uh providing regardless of our situation somehow some way. Um. I really don't know how to answer that question because it was just like a part of me at the at the time. Uh, I mean, you're just living it, right? So you just kept going. Yeah, I played basketball. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm I got motivated in different ways, not specifically because of my situation, just because I had tunnel vision on certain things at certain times. But I don't think, if anything, I'm more motivated now because of what I went through, and because you know I want my mom to be uh right. well off. You've seen the bottom, and you know, yeah. I didn't really realize it when I was a kid, but now that I'm looking back at this age now, uh, I realize like how it was. Yeah, yeah, I can feel that. I didn't have a couch. Uh, that was rough. <laughs> we, we were sitting on folded blankets. Oh. <laughs> my, uh, my, my parents um, there, and I know obviously a lot of parents do this, but my parents' moms and dad, or mom and dad, well, my mom's mom and dad. They did, yeah, yeah, my grandparents. They, uh, they didn't really have money, right? And when they came to the U.S., um, there were times they couldn't pay rent. Uh, and my mom has like, uh, a sister and two brothers, right? So four people and then mom and dad in a one bedroom apartment type of thing, uh, you know, rats, roaches, all that stuff. And there were times where they just couldn't, uh, they, they couldn't, you know, support themselves type of thing. And my mom, obviously uh, she made a name for herself from that. Right. She, she said, okay, you know what? I can't, I got to help my family and my future family. So, you know, she ended up you know, going to college, uh, graduating, working in the board of ed, well, gym teacher to assistant principal type of thing. And obviously, you know, I, I didn't have to go through that struggle because my mom went through that struggle. Right. And I think that I feel like that's obviously what, you know, parents or I would say a good parent wants for their kid. Right. I, I think, I feel like you didn't realize it as a kid as well, because your mom, like you said, always uh, made the best of it. Right. So she was uh, working hard to make sure you at least you know, had some food, even if, even if it wasn't much, right? 
And then from you, you see that as you grow up and then you're just willing to give back. And I think that's really admirable. Uh, and I think that's what we should strive to do, right? Especially for people who have supported us and helped us and who've came a long way. Uh, of course, got to support your folks, man. Of course, yeah. If we're, if we're able to give back, do it, right? That's the type of thing. Um, so he act. Uh, he asked about what motivated you, but did you have anything that really de uh, demotivated you? Like as you were coming up with YouTube um, or even playing Pokemon or even just going forward, right? Like I know that that time where uh, your channel got shut down randomly, <laughs> like, that was big. I don't know if you want to talk about that. That was some bullshit. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, go for it, bro. Uh, basically what happened was, um, I mean, we all know how YouTube is pretty screwy when it comes to copyright stuff. Yeah. They they uh, shoot first and ask questions later. They don't they don't even try to see if the claims are real or not because they're trying to cover their asses. So they'll take they'll take any claims pretty seriously, at least back then. And I'm, I'm pretty sure now is the same way anyways. Uh, but basically back then, um, somebody who was posing as the Pokemon Company International just started flagging my videos out of nowhere. So they they flagged like three, four videos. I'm pretty sure on the fourth one, your channel just gets fucking gone. Yeah, yeah just deleted. So that's what happened to me. Um, somebody just started false flagging videos. But it was really shitty because um, just because of how YouTube worked. Uh, they, they'll believe anything without actually searching for answers. And because of that, because YouTube was like that, my network was also like that. The network that's supposed to, you know, help me in times like yeah, that. The reason you're giving <laughs> them money. They're your right. insurance, right? They're they were insurance. like, man, just make a new channel. Uh, yeah. It'll be uh, all right. I was, like, they, they don't understand. They did not understand how important my channel was. Like I just told you guys, it, it was the reason I was able to survive. <laughs> That was back hey, in the even, wild, even wild west of YouTube. Yeah, even without the money, just the work I put in, all the videos, the years of battles, and you know the progression that I had was That's really, really important to me. That's your baby. Yeah, exactly. It was. It, I, I don't even remember what year that was. 2012, 11. It, it, I think it was 2012. Yeah. So that's already three years of content that I had, you know, been working on for such a long time. So many things I was proud of on my YouTube channel. Um, I told them I don't care about the money. Just get me my channel back. <laughs> yeah. I, I really cared about it that much. I, I would have gladly not made any money off of it. Yeah, if it meant you got back what it. you were doing. Yeah, I mean, and you already said you didn't see it as your job anyway. You were just happy yeah. to be able to make money. Exactly. So I would I would do it regardless to this day if I didn't uh, make oh, of any. Course. Um, of course. But like two, it, it was down for like two weeks, and then all of a sudden it came back because they actually fucking looked into it and saw that it wasn't a the actual Pokemon company. Uh, so that was just like a really bad bad time it was like the longest two weeks ever yeah, i course. didn't know if it was coming back at all i just thought it was gone but that that's who you were i know at that time too you were uh you were definitely getting more popular as well um so which is good in as well just for you as well because your hard work is obviously paying off too um and to lose that was just crazy i remember when you went through that i was like oh my god like bro shofu is gone like what what can we do what can we do and then people started making rumors like there were starting yeah. rumors about how my channel got this like uh taken down it was awful man everybody was just lying like none of these people knew <laughs> somebody said i i took a, i stole somebody's beat and they reported my channel and it got taken like it was just so many so many uh bad rumors i remember around that time uh that false flagging was going around everywhere that's actually part of the reason uh sucker for jessica kashif you know removed all of his old battles as well because um, he was shook <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I I privated a lot of my games too because I was like, wait, no, this is this is my baby. I can't like, even if it's not as big. This is still mine. I put so much work, so I can see how that demotivated you. Um, when you when it came back though, would you say that it at least motivated you to keep going because you got it back, or take it for granted type of thing, or like was it like uh, that? I think I just hopped right back where I was. Honestly, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, my channel's back, back to back to work. I didn't really feel any type of way. I was happy my channel was back. You know, I found out too. I was at uh, what's that tournament me and PK went to like ten years ago? <laughs> that uh, that PMP tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that tournament out there, and uh, we were in the hotel room. I just woke up and I started getting all these emails, like subscriber emails, because uh, well, I don't have that on anymore, but back then I did. Uh, so whenever I got a new subscriber or a comment, I'd get an email because my channel wasn't that big at the time. Um, <laughs> that's how I, I like woke up and my phone was blowing up with all these subscribers and stuff. That's sick. That sucks to happen, but I mean, I'm glad you got it back. Obviously, you still yeah, have it. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Um. So, you know, based on the stuff you went through, do you agree or disagree with what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? That that motto type of thing. Of course. Hmm. Facts. <laughs>
gain more experience, you know, you know what to look out for in the future. Yeah, so it goes with, with going through adversity, you know, prepares you to face. Yeah, that's that's good. Key, did you want to touch on that topic a little bit more? Or? Uh, we can we can we can come back to it. All right, all right. So, um, you know, you've obviously been through these, you know, things, and now coming up years later, right? You've amassed over six hundred thousand subscribers, right? And you're known in uh, Pokemon Smash, your, your raps, obviously, you know, type of thing. Uh, so well, let's talk a little bit about you know expanding your reach um, in terms of Pokemon and moving to Smash and like how how did that happen for you right Have you always just loved Smash or did like I know you started up with Pokemon because you love Pokemon and you ended up moving uh, or doing more Smash alongside it but was that because Mons got boring type of thing or were the Smash just interesting to you type of thing or if you want to talk about that uh, Well, I always played Smash Bros like when I was a kid like Melee and all that. Uh, but when I went to Apex for that Pokemon tournament, they had a t- uh, Pokemon tournament at Apex 2013. I still played Smash a little bit. I dabbled. I, s- I saw some tournaments online. Uh, so I think Brawl was out around that. Yeah, Brawl was the game that was out then. Yeah. Um, so I went to Apex, participated in the Pokemon tournament. But Apex is primarily a Smash tournament. So it was pretty crazy. I entered. That was my first Smash tournament that I actually entered. Um, but seeing like just all the crazy hype that was going on because of the Smash uh, made me want to like actually try playing it for real. Like when I got back, I, I started watching tournaments, uh, practicing like techniques and stuff. So yeah, I, I kind of always played Smash Bros. I had a I had a a, a Wii at home with Brawl in it and everything. Um, mm. I think everybody likes Smash. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> whether, it's, whether it's casually or not, or like like as a party game or as. Yeah. Like, I feel like yeah, that's how it was when I learned about competitive Pokemon. I was like, whoa, wait, there's this other way to play this game, and people do it so well type of thing right <laughs> like, yeah. like it, just, it just looks good um what about like rapping how did that start for you uh rap bro the, the fucking um cypher was oh, that on, cypher man did that actually uh, are start you it? are you brown yeah is that actually a start it like did you did you had you I ever dabbled, i think i might have dabbled no i don't think i did dabble actually i'm pretty sure that was the first time that i yeah. actually like tried to write something that was that was mm-hmm. decent so you was, so was 2000 freestyles before or you just none, nothing at all i used to <laughs> I used to freestyle at lunch at lunchtime in high school, but not really. Like I was really bad at it. I wasn't like actually. No, that's how it, that's how it always goes. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm I was trying to be a rapper, rapping about it, rapping about lunch. <laughs> no, about um, are you brown? XP was it XP. XP, yeah. right? Uh, I said, yeah, X, yeah. I said XD in the song. Like, <laughs> <laughs> are you brown? XP and my boy Wishbone. Uh, they kind of called me out on this Pokemon cipher that they did in 2011. Damn. So I did that. That was like the first time I actually put a song together, had my boy Scoot on there, uh, and it got a lot of good feedback. I was surprised. Um, told my channel manager at TGS about it, and he said, hey, you want to do a music video or something, like a song for us? And I was like, bet. Oh, yeah. Sent me a beat. Um, that's pretty much how I really got started, for real, because I did that one. That one did even better than the last one. So everybody just kept asking for more, and I, you know, I really wanted to please my fans because they were the reason that I was even able to do stuff like that. Yeah. So that's why, like, I put out Trap Catch Em uh, two year, uh, like a year and a half ago as well because uh, I wanted to give give them some music to listen to. Yeah, for those um, listening, uh, that's his uh, mixtape. Uh, for, <laughs> for those that might not know, uh, you should. Know. Yeah, huh. I made that just just for the fans. Um, you mentioned uh, them calling you out in their their Pokemon cipher, but I I I'd kind of always considered that this was kind of its own genre of hip hop. Is is the Pokemon community is like there's there's a lot of people that do it now, and I considered you like kind of like one of the founding fathers of the the Pokemon rap genre. Is uh would you say that after like you you started blowing up with more songs that it started it gained more popularity, or do you think it was just natural course that eventually nah, people definitely are be doing gained this anyway. more popularity yeah it gained a lot of popularity at least in my community like i don't know about outside of that obviously but uh in the pokemon community on on youtube and just on the internet um saw a lot more people uh trying to do what we were doing pretty much met a lot of people from it too right like ge yeah yeah, yeah. big one to go with. half the people that are on the pokemon ciphers nowadays i was just searching for um you know, because we put out our cipher, and then people would also take the beat and make their own. Right. So I was just searching for the good ones one day. Saw GE, saw Token Black. Um, I think I met Shizzy because somebody he made a Pokemon rap, and somebody told me about it and told us to make a song together. Yeah, SI uh, back in the yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into contact with CTC? Because I don't think he had anything. Bro, I 
actually have no clue. I was thinking about that the other day, bro. I have no idea how I met CTC. I do remember you being in the the 2013 the uh, IDM Skype group, but I don't remember like any specific interactions between like you and anybody else specifically. But yeah, like how how did how, wait yeah how did you know he rapped? Like what? That man bro, did. I have no idea. I'm really trying my hardest to remember right now. I don't even remember how I met that guy. <laughs> It had to have been on Showdown or something. I just yeah, don't we remember. We still on PO back in those days, bro. Yeah, oh, not, not even yeah, Showdown, yeah, of course, bro. I ran PO. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, trust me, bro. Trust me. I, I look. I don't. I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> look, I think Stark told me. The other no, day. I heard. I heard it on your podcast, right? I just. I just wanted some answers, man. Is you know, there's no reason someone needed to hurt somebody that bad over a game. Yeah, like, bro. Bro, Shofu I swear to God, I don't remember that. Came at me at every angle, bro. He Shofu like, beat him in Pokemon. Yeah, you got. You got to tell the people, Key. You got to tell okay, the people. Those that might not have listened to it. This is circa 2010, 2011. Uh, PO days, PO Prime days. Back when it was the only simulator you was using, I, I I was I was a regular. I wasn't I wouldn't consider myself a like a competitive p- player or anything at that time. I, I was I was just doing my best using what I loved on the ladder. And I, I one day I hop up on. I'm trying to you know probably kill some time between class or something. You know just just do it like regular. I hop on. I meet this guy Shofu. Never seen the name before in my life. <laughs> By turn five, uh, he's already styling on me. I can see, I can tell he's he's outskilled me. He's out, he's double switching all over the place, right? I'm not able to get a fucking foot in. I can't get my foot in the door. I can't, I can't dissect this man's game plan. I'm like, man, I'm 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 outmatched. But the game isn't over yet. I can't just click X. All of a sudden, he starts typing, typing in the chat. <laughs> he's talking all kinds of shit. He's like, man, you fucking suck. And I'm like, man, come on. I'm like, man, you're probably right, but that that didn't need. You're to be already seen. beating me. You're already, <laughs> you're already wiping the floor with me. Why are you doing this? He keeps going. I didn't even respond. He keeps on saying more and more. And suddenly, you know, I had to I had to say something. I couldn't just let him do that. I, I pulled out the classic, the old classic. Like, man, man, come on. You you probably uh you probably a nerd. You have no life or something. He pulls up with a fucking basketball compilation, <laughs> like, slam dunking and shit, man. I'm like, like, oh no, I I, I can't I can't go out like this. <laughs> There's nothing, there's nothing. He got. He had me at every single axis I had of attack. I was like, man, I can't beat him at Pokemon. I definitely can't beat him at Ball. He's got me, man. He's got me beat. I got to click X, but a game still wasn't over. I just had to endure. You couldn't even ignore chat back in those days, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had to see it if I'm not mistaken. I was just like, man, this is going to be one of my most de- embarrassing defeats. This is going to define my career. I think I think Shovel had to have been in a call. Like, he had to be, right? Yeah, I, be- I believe that story now that you tell it, but I swear I don't remember that. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was on that Why kind of guy. Do, do it like that to me, man. You're already Bro, winning. You're, you're winning. Why, why, you're already winning in Pokemon. Why are you going to tell me you're winning in life? Like, what, like what's <laughs> wrong? I mean, apparently he called me a nerd. No, I was a nerd. Hey, now, wait, look, we, we are nerds, though. That's <laughs> absolutely. Why does that have a negative connotation, though? That's 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 fine. You know why nerd has a negative connotation? What do you mean? Because of the media mean? and because of TV. All right, hey, let's not get too. <laughs> here. It all ain't right, even right. media and TV. Some of these people just really be out here being geeks and stuff. But that's you fine. remember those Poindexter's bro stuffed in the right. lobby. In the eight. Okay, geeks and nerds are two different things, though. Bro, come like they, they have a lot of overlap. Have a lot of overlap. Yeah, what's the difference between a geek and a nerd? Just off the top of your head, Joey. Uh, see, a nerd is someone who yeah, probably. Nice uh, what? You're not even letting me talk. You... You're not. You're not going to say anything that that matters right now, it, bro. I'm a thing you can say. They apply to both, bro. I get whatever, whatever, you're, man. You, you're a nerd. You're a geek. Just be proud of it. That's all. Look you at We're still bullying me, man. You about to drop the compilation? What? You about, you about to, drop to drop the basketball the compilation? Hey, and I play basketball. Too. Bro, that know. compilation was it. That's all it took for me to just be like, man, maybe this ain't my game. <laughs> I gotta pick something <laughs> else up. I gotta pick up a new trade. <laughs> so. Okay, go ahead. let's go back a little bit. <laughs> so uh, you've obviously, you know, started to expand your reach, right? You got the, you got Pokemon, you got Smash. Obviously, you're gonna be covering Sword and Shield. You got Rap. Uh, I know you've been talking about Pokemon side for 2019 and whatnot too. Um, but now you're doing it even, uh, even more with uh, a podcast. You want to talk a little bit about that too? Because you also have a, a podcast coming up. Podcast wasn't even my idea. Now Japan time, we've been doing that since like 2013. Yeah. 14 uh but this new podcast we just <laughs> we're literally talking about nothing 99 percent of the time <laughs> and you know how smart and scoot are they, they can talk about anything 
for yeah, hours. We just argue about stupid shit, literally. Like, that's the whole podcast. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I do think, though, you're doing it right in terms of, you know, when you see Shofu, I think you think of Shofu, right? I don't think you think of Pokemon specifically. I don't think you think of Smash specifically. Or rap. I, I think that basically you have an audience for everything you do. And that's why you've amassed, you know, such a large amount of followers, right? And then you'll get this, a whole bunch of people supporting you. And I want to bring that into the term clout. Do you care about that at all? Or is it just, it just happens naturally and it's whatever. I mean, you if you're online, I don't really care. But if you're online and your, your living is online, clout is always important. Mm. You got to have some kind of influence so that other people see that and want to work with you and want to want to do, you know, give you opportunities. That's and true, if you're an true. online creator, clout, like you have to stay relevant to make money. That's the yeah. only possible way you can, because if you're not if you're not relevant and people aren't watching your stuff, uh, you're not going to be able to sustain any of that. So, so do you agree that like as a content creator or social influencer, you should expand your reach then? Like from just like for me, for instance, right? If you I'm, can, I'm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, for just Pokemon, just games. And, and I'm, not, I'm I'm gonna be real here too. We play Pokemon. Pokemon is not the most lucrative. Uh, yeah. yeah, not at all. <laughs> you can you can do online. Uh, it is at some points, but yeah. we we know the games. Uh, as far as content, um, aside from like battles and stuff, like how you've been doing actually. Aside from the stuff you do and like shiny hunting, the content dies off quickly because you know the games are are data data mined to hell and back there's nothing to discover in the game 99 percent of the time because we know about it before the game even comes out there's barely like there's not a lot of content to make a lot of the time yeah which is why i started um well back in the day i did nothing but wi-fi battles but that's why uh, i started like expanding to to playthroughs and stuff and, and the raps because if you do the same thing all the time then it's gonna get real stagnant it's gonna be stale nobody's gonna want to watch so you gotta you gotta do different things. Uh, as far as me like branching out, I just do what I want all the time. Like I, I never uh, I don't like feeling boxed in. I just do it. I just play what I want. I do what I want. I think I have a, a decent enough personality to not be boring doing anything else. Yeah. Some people aren't like that though. Some people, yeah. which is why like there's a meme going around that that PokeTubers suck and they all <laughs> make top tens and they're all they're all named <laughs> uh, angry uh, Infernape or you know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> adjective and then pokemon uh, the numbers. it's true a lot of the time like it's unfortunate but it is true a lot of the time a lot of people don't really have a personality to go with their youtube channel which is why you'll see like a youtuber with like three hundred thousand subscribers on youtube He'll like, have, ten, like 10 followers on twitter right exactly yeah because they don't actually care about the person they just care about the content, content. they make yeah, yeah. if they care uh, about if they care about the person they'll care about anything they do yeah and that's that's like the main thing uh when it comes to growing do you think there's well, a, maybe not you think there's a point where it's too late to uh to transition out of what you're you're doing like once you get boxed in and you're like you built too much of a name for yourself around something like pokemon for instance you think the, look, look man i'm gonna tell you, think you your right audience now. won't follow you i'm gonna tell you right now man you know who king daddy d back is that yep <laughs> that man right there he played pokemon for years someday he said fuck this started playing minecraft said fuck that started playing uh what's that dinosaur game arc arc yeah that man has over a million subscribers to this day <laughs> consistent if you do it well if you do it well it does not matter what you do now it can be hard for sure because uh you know if you do one thing for a lot of the time um sometimes people no not sometimes guaranteed a lot of those people would not give a fuck if you play something else promise you. Mm -hmm. but uh you can always bring new people in by doing something new if right. you know you have the quality, if you have the consistency. Yeah, I feel like consistency is super important because like consistency is the most yeah. important thing for yeah. anything online. Easily, probably. easily, easily. Because people like Shady Penguin, he plays like Yu-Gi-Oh and and uh, I'm not quite sure what else he's been playing, but I know he's he started uh, doing like dual links videos and all that kind of stuff. He was consistent mm -hmm. with it. He has a great personality. People love him. So eventually, you know, he, he started doing well playing that. Yeah, and I, and obviously he got the backlash at first, right? Because of I course, mean, because the people that are there for Pokemon don't give a goddamn about Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, but, but then uh, you know, some people are gonna are gonna actually enjoy whatever you make, regardless. Some people are actually gonna end up liking Yu Gi Oh when they didn't really care about it before. Yeah, some people are gonna come because they see the Yu Gi Oh videos. You know, it's it's it is hard, but uh, it's not impossible, and I don't think it's impossible ever if you uh do it the right way yeah if you apply if you have consistency that's because you either can be really skilled at it or just a good personality i feel like uh the people who would be willing to watch you do something else are also the people who 
are willing to get off the platform YouTube that they found you or they found you and follow you on Twitter or watch you on Twitch, right? Because you're literally getting people who found you on this one site and this is a site they're comfortable with and they're willing to follow you somewhere else. So I think that's a, like if you, if you have that, you're good at it, it'll show, right? In numbers or maybe not at first, but like I, I could start, I could start Smash right now. And I'm, I'm sure, cause a lot of Smash people and a lot of Pokemon people, I think they're similar in terms of fans, right? Cause it's Nintendo at the end of the day, it's Nintendo. Yeah. So I could start Smash right now and I'm sure people would be hype. And I'm also sure 90% of the comments would be, you suck. And that could demotivate me, right? And maybe Smash would have been my gateway into growing as well, right? And I stopped because of that, you know, people talking crap. But I think if I'm consistent, eventually one, I think I'll get better or at least average, right? That would be a goal for me. Average to be able to play and hold my own and understand. And then from there, just keep going. Like if I upload it every day, for instance, it will eventually pick up views. Of and course. Because, yeah, that's just the type of thing. Um, so definitely, I think, I think it's really important to sell yourself. Uh, in terms of being Are you telling creator. me that you stopped uploading things because people was talking shit in the comments? That's crazy. Well, well, I, thought, I mean, I, I thought you <laughs> a lot of the things I uploaded outside of Pokemon, a lot of the things I uploaded outside of Pokemon is I, I do it friends. So a lot of stuff I stopped uploading because, you know, friends don't want to play with me right. at times, right? Like Shofu, for instance. Shofu, I'm sure could uh, upload a showdown live, right? But he doesn't want to do it himself, right? right? At least at this point. I know you're not a big fan of. It's definitely not. It's not as fun for me if I do it by myself. Yeah. I'm just saying, people in the comments, man, they, they can say whatever they want. I'm gonna tell them to suck my dick from the back. I don't. Okay. Give a fuck about <laughs> <laughs> like I'm still gonna upload the Lock Podcast, even though the last episode got 71 percent people turning it down due to Snark's thigh. Because <laughs> you had that thigh in the thumbnail, man. Everybody <laughs> clicking on that. That thigh was necessary for some context. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. At least like we talked about it. Like we had to show the thigh. We spent too much time talking about that thigh to not show him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was, it's a good picture. It's a good picture anyway. The quality alone of that picture, he put a lot into it. He definitely <laughs> spent he some time, dude. He spent a lot of time. He set up the lights, went in a corner, had his arm out, talk, unbuttoned his shirt, whatever. We're not talking about I'm not buying it either that somebody else took that picture. Oh, it was him. He said it was him. He took it. He said, yeah. He had a, he said the arm that was behind his leg had a pen in it and he clicked the button. Like, yeah. His phone took the picture. (laughs) I just want to know what he was doing in his house with that setup. Why was he, bro? He had to move his lights from his streaming setup to there, to that corner. To take this picture, why? I know. He- <laughs> I'm saying, like, if I would always almost understand it if it was like a one step process of him just saying, like, yeah, on a whim, I'm gonna take this picture. But he had every step of the way there to change his mind, and he just kept going. <laughs> he followed through. Starts too much. Good I person. Wanna, uh, bring it back to the clout conversation. Uh, clout. That there's a there's a science to it that I'm trying to I'm trying to dissect here. Are you familiar with the term uh, trickle clout? Like nope. where. Bro, I'm an example of it when it comes Trickle to you. Cloud. I'm a. I, I think I coined the term. <laughs> you know, basically. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what we call those? We call them. Uh, we call it clout siphoning. Siphon. <laughs> well, that, that makes it sound so much worse. Go back yeah, to trickle yeah. cloud. Trickle, trickle is like you know you're the main source of, of clout, okay, you and you what? decide you decide to bestow it. Upon okay, that's, it okay, that's different from a cloud siphon. The cloud siphons are like are like snakes, like looking for cloud, and they they'll do anything to get it. Like they'll yeah. suck up. Like, okay, that's not the same. Okay, those are two different terms. Got it. Well, I have a theory that we're still kind of coasting off some some Shofu trickle cloud from way. I hundred percent. I hundred percent was, and I'm, I'm an example. Shofu, you had you had uh, uh five thousand subscribers. I had three hundred. Right, we battled all the time. I was known because of you. Right, as you got ten thousand, I got a thousand. As you got fifty thousand, I I got like five thousand. Right, so I think I'm definitely and, and and for sure at first. I think now I've obviously established myself outside of just you're still my boy and we still people know yeah, us I thought you're saying yeah but I, I definitely I yeah that, I mean and that's like like when you called me a snake I was like damn man I didn't think I <laughs> just, we're just friends like I, I was just oh, man, I you. wasn't talking about you specifically <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah I know what you mean yeah, yeah that's definitely like, trickle clock you put your you put I put you on pretty much like yeah basically I, uh, yeah, we, and, I, we battled a lot I, I gave you some shout outs people people found you through me that's and that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that, that's you, you would only blow up like that, or, or you know, gain some traction if you actually had some quality over there with, with what you were doing. So it's not really like, eh, I guess, I guess it's still trickle clout, yeah. but they don't. It, that only happens like you only gain from it if you are, are actually doing something on your own. So that's true. 
like oh, at yeah. least like I like I'm sure like shout outs people will subscribe, but if they want to actually watch it and actually exactly you know, like grow from exactly. it, yeah, it's because they did. You're not gonna yeah. grow unless you're you got some quality with with whatever you're doing. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm not ashamed to say I definitely grew with and because of Shofu. I mean, I think a lot of our friend group grows together, right? And, yeah, we, and yeah, everybody's trying to eat, man. Like, there's no that's not, exactly exactly. If I'm eating, I want my boys to eat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, I try, bro. Not. Speaking of speaking of wanting my boys to eat, how many times we tried to put PK on? PK man? PK is there. <laughs> PK, we tried. Could have had a big ass YouTube channel free by now. Like, no question. It just comes to consistency, man. It comes to consistency and motivation. Yeah, I'm it's sure not, for, not for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, when he needs it, he comes back and does it. But it's just, it is what it is. But yep. is I, I don't any, think. Oh, well, go for it. Go, go for it. Go ahead. No, go for it. I was wondering if there's any instance you can think of of uh, somebody somebody getting trickle clout and then becoming like a larger source of clout than the, the, the origin. I'm sure that happens all the time. Uh, can I actually think of one? That's tough. Like I, I, I'm, I, I'm so sure that happens too. But I don't, I don't see. Also, if you do think of somebody, you might maybe, maybe don't call out the main source of trickle. Maybe, maybe that's maybe <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> like, hmm. I don't know, man. I mean, there's definitely there's so many. Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, Velocify right there because Joey, uh, Joey, <laughs> <laughs> he he did he did kind of trickle I, to him. I, I, I knew Joey, he was gonna say this. This is Joey's fault. Yeah, Joey gave yeah. Velocify so much clout, bro. Right. Okay, look at him now. He's a fucking bro, monster. Bro, bro, but I was only I was only thirty thousand. He was fifteen. I maybe maybe I did open him up to certain people, right? You I, did. I, 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 I did. Was never I heard did. of that guy. But but he also made how-to videos and guides, which got himself some traction himself, right? Okay, but see, that's the thing. Back when, back when that was the, back when that happened, well, you said you had thirty thousand, right? I had thirty thousand. He had fifteen. Okay. Well, back when that happened, battles were still a lot more relevant than they are right now. For sure. For sure. You introduced him to an entirely new crowd of people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> and then he became notorious for shitting on Smogon when he didn't know a goddamn thing about it. Yeah, it's crazy. He's known <laughs> outside he got of so the Pokemon much support community. For that. Yeah. yeah, he got so much support for that. And in 2019, he's a goddamn behemoth. <laughs> a behemoth. <laughs> and this all started because of you. Okay, if we're going to be real... Know. I own. I was only defending myself. He called me out, and <laughs> no, I did. Of no, of course, no, of course, of course. He called me out, and, and I did nothing. So I was making that clear, and that was yeah. it. But then he continued and, and to call I, out. I know it's easier said than done to stay quiet when people try to lie about you. Yeah, uh, uh, ima I imagine. Um, yeah, imagine, bro. Imagine. I'm thirty thousand. He has fifteen, and he still jumped up to a hundred thousand. He was still saying the same thing about me. Like you know, that's hurting me. And yeah, and that yeah. was around X and Y. X and Y was when I went from thirty thousand. To like sixty to seventy thousand. X and Y was when I actually started turning this into something I can do. Like right. that's why I quit my 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 job, right? At that point, yeah. like my my because because oh, we were all you know. Yeah, yeah. X and Y was that. <laughs> like that was like that was it. So imagine me having someone who eventually did turn out bigger than me before the end of X and Y. Um, just having that on my back, like I couldn't, right? I couldn't. Like I mean, me as a person, I know I did not do what he said yeah. I did. So I'm not going to have people yeah. lying. I actually feel you because uh, even now to this day, uh, I'd say I'm pretty good at ignoring negativity most of the time. But when somebody is saying something about me that I did not even do, like if they have, if they think, if they think of me in a negative light because of something they think I did that I didn't actually do, that shit is always. It bothers you. Yeah, I it hate, bothers you. If you're going to think I'm an asshole because something that something I really did, please, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, something i didn't do that shit is crazy people just making up lies out here yeah, so, and obviously so you're gonna that. go and fix it yeah, like that's exactly. like yeah like even if, even if it i don't even know if it's a safe face but it's like uh a thing it's where not the like safe it's just yeah to it's not the right idea yeah, like exactly. they don't actually know they're ignorant i feel like it's like a mosquito biting me if it's like for no reason it's gonna keep biting me it's like come on bro like, right I, I didn't and do then, this. And then they're giving people the wrong idea of you. So then more people dislike you for something exactly. you didn't do. Like, I hate that. Exactly, exactly. There oh, was a this case. <laughs> I <laughs> understand. I mean, no one could have known. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, like, I, like uh, recently, um, last year, uh, some dude called me out. I made, a, like, a how to use their aura guide when it got released. Um, and some dude called me out saying I had stole his set. And did all that. Now <laughs> he had made a how to use zero or a guide months before it came out, and I went to it. And the entire video, none of the sets were the same as mine. But he says in the description, also these are the sets, and he copied my poke paste, my my paste bin, word for word, and put it there, and then called me out. 
So now he had very little subscribers, right? Like a couple hundred compared to my hundred thousand plus. But at the same time, I don't want somebody's first interaction to me. If they look up zero or they look up that and they say, oh, this guy's calling out PokeMD. If they look up PokeMD, like I don't, I don't want that. I don't, now obviously he, I know he did it just to get my attention and he did. But all I did was make a video and was like, listen, I'm too, like, don't do this. Like this, this is not it. Don't do it. This is, this is wrong. Uh, he's wrong. This is a proof that's there. That's it. I'm leaving it at that. And that was the end of it. Right. Cause I can't have somebody just lying. Uh, people lie about you know people all the time. That's right. But like if that, especially in this job that, or whatever, wherever we're at, right. We're content creators or social influencers. It's like the whole goes back to the whole thing. Like I can't have somebody just lying about me for, and hating me for no reason because of someone else. Right. Like yeah. I, I don't like that. I like that. And I, you, can you go probably could have ignored that one though. Yeah, but it's like, it's like when I, so I like <laughs> the reason that one came to my attention is because I looked up Zero Aura to see how it was doing in comparison. And that's the first thing that came up. Like that's right what I was going to say. Sometimes it's like so small that you can just get away with ignoring yeah. it and it might never be known. Buddy. Sure. But like even now, like, you know, what we're going through right now, <laughs> <laughs> up, like what could we, I, I mean, I'm going to ignore it, uh, but it, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I think but. it's been easier for me nowadays. I, I really uh, am not a fan of drama. I uh, like even nowadays, half the things I would normally respond to, I just I just don't even say anything about it at all. I, I think it's, I think it's better to live like that. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I agree for like your face and like also your subscribers, right? Because you have this like where we're, unless you reply privately and which for the most part might even be blown up on a video as well. Uh, something that I just want to say is like, I'm not going to get myself and my, my viewers involved in this. Like, this is, it's not worth it. You were saying Loki? Is there anything that particularly, uh, incites you to respond and like comments? Talk about my mom. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, I want you to know this podcast episode on YouTube, but to be fully your mom comments. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what about, what about you show? You talking about positive or negative or just anything in general? I, I think we're going more towards negative with this. Cause I think positive. Positive is nice, but negative is definitely the ones that get us, I think. Uh, well, negative, if somebody says something stupid to me, I might respond with like some sarcasm or some stupid shit back. Or maybe Sometimes even something you won't uh, respond to, but you'll like screenshot it and show your friends in the, in the, in the oh, Discord. Oh, we oh, all the time. We definitely do. Oh, and, like, get a load of this me, fucking me, as long as it's not on like my actual social media, I might, I, I'll do anything. Like, I'll, I'll talk shit till I fucking die. <laughs> I just don't want to put that out there on social media for everybody to see. I don't want to. I don't want to respond to these people. Yeah, make it bigger um, than it needs to be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, sometimes I will respond to some stupid shit with some stupid shit or some sarcasm. But like I said, the main thing that could easily get me to respond is somebody having the wrong idea. Yeah. Like I said, I, I just can't. I can't stand that. I can't stand when people say that I said something that I would never say in my life. Like I hate. I really hate that. Yeah. Because no, that no. happens a lot. Like people. People because of their own poor reading comprehension, will take something I said and completely flip it to whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> I yes. hate that. That's annoying. That's really annoying. But I feel like you've also, uh, and the, this is like, sometimes I know I don't have to reply because I have viewers who actually do listen or at least understand. So like if someone says something stupid about me, someone will be like, hey man, back in this video, this dude did nothing. Uh, and then you're you're just completely wrong. And he says here in this tweet, this tweet, and like, I mean, and I feel bad when those people get replied with you're a sheep. Like, no, they're just like, they're just, you're wrong and they're correcting you. Right. Yeah. And I appreciate that. And like, and me, maybe if I see that, I might leave like a little heart on the thing. Cause I'm like, yeah, this is how I feel about it. This That's guy, facts, man. Sometimes the goons can take care of these people for us. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes don't. people are kind of sheep though. I know you don't like the use of that word. I hate that word. But some people like they're, they're just total yes men for, for others. And like, even you hate that word regarding. if your mascot's a uh, Marit, man. <laughs> that's what i'm saying I'm like, uh, Ambrose, okay uh, yeah mega Ambrose, it's fabio but like <laughs> shut up Damn sheep, man. <laughs> i'm not gonna call but him now sheep. he hates sheep that's crazy Bro, I, I even hate the word fans i don't like i call them my subscribers i i, I don't like the word fans that's like, what why? they are why? i know it, i know it is but i just don't like it because it makes me feel like i'm someone above who i actually am at the end of the day I'm i don't really like it either but yeah, they be telling me that they're fans of me. So what am I supposed to say? I, I appreciate it. I say, <laughs> what are you supposed to tell them they're not fans? I thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll say, but I, I will never actually, like, I think reference them as, I always reference them as my viewers and my supporters. Yeah, like, same. I say viewers. Cause, yeah, because fans makes me think like they're like an army of people that are just there no matter what, which I'm, I'm like, I've always, I've always been okay with like, imagine having an army behind you, right? 
But like, I don't want them to say if I say jump off a cliff, they're already jumping. Like, I don't, I don't want that type of but thing. But what does that have to do with being a fan? You can be a fan of somebody and not be a sheep too. I don't know, man. I really just they're don't. Not, like they're that. not one and the same at all. I, I, fans just makes me feel like I'm, like I said, like I'm, I'm someone I'm not, right? Like I, I feel like um, that makes me. I feel like calling me a fan makes me seem that more important than I actually am. I know I'm a content creator. I know I'm a social influence, uh, uh, social influencer. Excuse me, and what I am, but I'm still a person at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, I feel so, that. So I just like. The fans is like, I mean, but that's that why it's always, to, it's always to, to like everybody, celebrities and musicians. They're, they're all just regular people. They yeah, fans. You they are. A fan of they are. That, that's the thing. I just don't like the term fans in general. I, like, I, I do. I like your work, but I don't know the fan thing. Just I feel you, Joey. Because uh, real talk, I ain't shit. Right? <laughs> when I go to a I mean, tur- when I go to a convention and these people are lining up to meet me, I'm like, yo, what y'all doing? <laughs> bro, I think, dude, same thing. <laughs> yeah, I've had uh, I've had people ask me when are we doing a New York meet, and I was like, I'll do it if there's other people there, but like if it's just you and me, like you're just gonna see the same show, dude, you see in a video, and I'll be like, yo, what up? I'll give you a dap, a hug, whatever. I don't care. I'll take pictures, <laughs> but like, I don't know, man. You might not want to be hugging them, <laughs> dude. I don't care, I, bro. I've, <laughs> I've 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 met viewers. Someone said, "Hey, I just came from uh, Europe. Uh, I'm in the United States. Can can you meet me?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? Whatever." No, I drove no, that boy in my no, car. Bro. Are you He's, serious? Yeah, no, I, no I've done contact. that like two. Or th- I've done that two or three times, bro. I've I, I've drove. I've li- literally picked up viewers and drove them around and just talked because I don't. I don't mind. Like obviously, dangerous, obviously, yeah, I let yeah, people. Yeah, know. I was real, saying, bro. obviously, I let people know where I am just in case something happens to me, type of thing. But I mean, at the end of the day, if they if they attack me when I'm in the car, we're both gonna go down. So that's on them, whatever. But Anyway, the Destiny Bond man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, going back to what we said, you definitely have, like, from clout and trickling, you definitely have this effect on other people. And even when you were talking about rap, like, you, you saw it, right? Uh, people were able to, people who also did uh, the Pokemon Cypher like you, and you, know, you ended up making a lot of friends from it as well, and, like, people you'll actually uh, have. So that, I think that's just really cool, that, like, how you've affected other people, uh, myself included, obviously. I'm, I'm talking about from... I'm not talking about from like the example of being a friend because obviously you know you're my boy. I'm just talking about from you know where you are online as well. Uh, I think that's really cool. But hmm, I, I was uh, you know what? Never mind. I forget what I was about to say. Shovel, do you have anything coming up? Any little projects and things like that you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, moving to New Jersey. Hey, that's when I'm gonna see my boy disgusting. all the time. You said disgusting? Not you, New Jersey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, whoa! I was like, whoa! I, sh- I shower. No, nah, I don't necessarily want to move to New Jersey. I live in California, the exact city I want to live in, the exact place I want to live in. Uh, but I got a good opportunity with Team Dignitas. We're going to uh, put together, they're putting together this content creator house, uh, and I'm getting paid and, uh, you know, rent paid, getting paid on top of that. So it's You're a good situation. I, I can save a lot of money. Yeah. Back up, be. move back to California when I'm ready. Are you allowed to talk about who else is there? Or that's just confidential. I have no idea. No <laughs> idea. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about it right now. But hey, it's all right. This goes up. This goes up after you move, like a day after. I, it doesn't even. It, it's not even that deep. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to talk about it. That's sick, man. So you're going to be consecration in for in terms of like streaming or actually on YouTube, and you're going to put like uh, just like or? affiliation. I'm still going to be doing what I'm doing. Um, but I'm also going to be doing things for them directly, like making music, uh, and they'll support they, you in that, obviously. So, yeah, exactly. That's really cool. And it's, we're definitely it's a nice situation. Yeah, we're going to do some collabs, bro. We're, we're I don't know how collab. far away you live from where I'm going to be. 40 but, minutes, bro. It doesn't matter where it? 40 minutes. I know that for a Look. fact. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I pulled up to Delaware like three times, so it's not like I won't. That's true. Drive. Right. For the trifecta, the Shofu Chimpak yeah. collabs. Oh, yeah, because Chimpak Chim- <laughs> moved down there, and Mo about to move. Hey, Chimpak got to run to sell with me in Smash Bros, man. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's been talking so much shit. He, 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 he wanted to so be in shit. this podcast just to say, hey, you're not that good at Smash. Just to he's talk. He's not that good. He's <laughs> trash. The only time he ever beat me, he was lagging like crazy. He still called him the lag bender to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Big lag packed. <laughs> he was playing. Yeah. He was playing Broken Diddy. In, uh, he was broken playing the most broken character of all time. <laughs> he was tripping. I'm willing okay, to forgive him for Diddy though, because that's that's in theme. He's chimp pack. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. his character. So I can't really blame him too much for that. But he was lagging. Like, if I could find the 3DS streams from back then, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that man was lagging, and he was in control. He was in another dimension. It was like the flash, lag, bro. Lag at a perfect moment every time. It was like, oh wait, hold up, you're about to cash me? Lag. lag. I'm behind you now. I'm behind you. Now. I'm <laughs> on your back, smacking you. Where's my banana? That's, that's exactly what it is. 
Terrible okay, so there's like a dumpster outside, so uh nah, it's all good. It's all good. We're uh <laughs> shirt, <I'm alive>. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Um, so uh, Pokemon Server 2019. You want to tell anybody anything about that? You keep saying it's coming. And you say it people coming. are. It's 2019 still. Is I it actually? About, I got about eight months. Okay. Any any spoilers? Who's involved? What we got? Most likely the same people. Oh my god, that shit's loud as hell. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. Can we expect a, a return from PokeMMD? No. No. Huh? <laughs> of course. Yeah. Whether I... Joey's on the song or not, he'll be present in the video. I will. And if That's I'm on the song, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm rapping fast. And I'm going to be rapping bro, about Charmander. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with rapping fast. Charmander. I'm going to rap about Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur, because that's what they want to hear. That's what they want to hear. <laughs> forget <laughs> forget Drop it, Drake. It a one, if you keep it a Gen 1, you're good. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's it. That's fine. Whatever. No more Drop of Draco. Forget about being true to myself and enjoying <laughs> myself. Let me, I liked let me, your verse, man. I really dude, did. Dude, I loved it too. It was me, right? And you it know me. Bad. It wasn't bad at all. It really wasn't. I, I think it's because it was hyped up. Like you say, oh, top whatever verse on the cipher, and then everybody hears everything. It's like maybe but that's a personal thing too. Like you're blaming a, me now. Yeah, that's that's. I'm blaming <laughs> you. I'm blaming every single time you said that. I said no. Nah, he's lying. <laughs> he's not. He's lying. And that's what I got. See, that's what I got hurt by the comments. Key. That's a comment that definitely hurt me. <laughs> that, that hurt you. You were just yeah. talking trash when I was having fun. Can't let that face. hurt you though, man. You're not a rapper. You you, you, you don't do this regularly. Like you did, you did perfect. You did way better than you should have done, honestly. If you ask me. Damn that that boy Shovel had my bar all the way down. No, um, no, 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 no. I'm just saying for somebody new to to what you did, like it was pretty good. Like, I'm not even I'm not even lying. It was actually good. I appreciate it. Delivery you. was good. The delivery is the hardest part. You can say anything, but can you say it, you know, convincingly and well? Like your delivery was great. See, that's see, guys, that's my friend. That's the only one that I care about. Look, I'm right? not gonna lie to you. I'll never lie to you when it comes to some music, because I that's how people stay trash when you start lying to them. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So Pokemon Cypher coming 2019. I, I actually heard some rumors, but I can't say nothing. Shelf not say nothing. What? Um, I mean, I heard about like when you want to do it, but I don't. I don't want to tell anybody. Like, and then at least now, before you okay. tell anybody, I feel you. All but right. um, yeah, Shofu also has a podcast. Uh, yeah, he what, didn't talk did, too much about the podcast. Did you change your name of it, or is it not the thing is, or what, what's the thing it? is? No, we, yeah, we, it's the thing is. It's the thing is. You want to tell them where where they can find it? Uh, stream it every night at nine p.m. Eastern on that, Twitch that, TV. Huh? He doesn't what? stream it every night, guys. It's every Thursday. Night. Do it every night. Oh, that's it every night. It's yeah. the thing is I was Thursday. about to say, how do you have that much to talk about? <laughs> every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, twitch.tv right. slash shofu. The thing is Thursday. What about what about what about YouTube? What about Twitter? Where can they find you? <laughs> everything is shofu, man. Every, is shofu. Everything is shofu. That's S H O F U. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, dude, for taking the time to be on uh, the lock. I appreciate. Are we it. done? Yeah, we finishing it up, bro. <laughs> we no, wrapping. Thank you guys for having me, man. Yeah. Uh, guys, check them out. Links will be down below. We will see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Get Craig out. Get Craig out now. Keep his ass. Beat him. Get him. Craig is definitely the feds. <laughs> Keep that in there.